Since 1929, industrial customers have depended on Magnaflux for reliable, non-destructive testing products to inspect materials and parts for cracks and defects. Magnaflux products are used in many different industries, but the basic purpose is always the same. Testing parts to locate cracks or other defects that might cause failure during use. Because the inspection process does not harm the parts being tested, it is called non-destructive testing. Magnaflux magnetic particle and liquid penetrant inspection methods are generally less expensive and easier to use than other technologies such as eddy current, ultrasonic, and x-ray. In this video, we will teach you how to select the right inspection methods for a variety of applications. We will demonstrate the proper inspection procedures to use with Magnaflux products, and we will go over the ultraviolet lights that we have to offer. When should you recommend the magnetic particle inspection method? The material being inspected is the first consideration. For steel parts or any ferrous metals, magnetic particle testing is the best choice because it's faster and easier. If the parts you are checking are non-magnetic materials, such as aluminum, copper, titanium, or ceramic, then liquid penetrant testing is the best choice. The type of defect you need to locate is also important. Magnetic particle testing locates surface and slightly subsurface flaws. Liquid penetrant testing locates only flaws that are open to the surface. Magnetic particle testing gives immediate results and liquid penetrant processing takes more time because it involves several steps. Now we'll determine what equipment is required to perform an inspection. Magnetic particle inspection needs a magnetizing device to perform the inspection. Examples of such equipment are yokes, coils, power packs, and wet horizontal units. Liquid penetrant processing requires no special equipment. A black light is necessary for both inspection methods, but only when using fluorescent materials. The last factor is startup cost. Magnetic particle testing startup costs are higher because of the equipment needed to perform the inspection. Liquid penetrant costs less to start up, but does use more materials over the long run. Once you know how to choose the right testing method, the next step is learning the correct inspection procedures. During this demonstration, you will see the Magnaflux products available and learn how these two procedures work. For the next few minutes, we will concentrate on the magnetic particle process, both dry method and wet method. To demonstrate the dry method of magnetic particle testing, we will inspect the weld area on this steel plate for surface cracks. We will use a Y6 portable magnetizing AC yoke. As with all of our yokes, it has adjustable legs. An AC-DC Y7 yoke is also available to detect surface and also slightly subsurface cracks. Also available is our Y8 yoke that will run battery powered for up to eight hours. Since we are looking for relatively large cracks, we can use any of the Magnaflux non-fluorescent magnetic powders, which come in gray, red, and black colors. The powders are easily applied with a Magnaflux powder spray bulb. The first step in the MPI process is to pre-clean the area to be inspected with Magnaflux Spot Check Cleaner Remover. Be sure to allow the cleaner to have enough time to dissolve all the dirt and oil before wiping the part clean. The second step is placing a yoke on the part. Position it perpendicular to the direction of suspected defects. Press the switch on the handle to energize the yoke and form a magnetic field in the test part. The third step is to apply magnetic particles on the part being inspected while the yoke is energized. The actual inspection is the fourth and last step. When powder is applied, visible indications appear immediately. 
This occurs because the magnetic particles are strongly attracted to any spot where a crack has created a leak in the magnetic field. The dry magnetic particle inspection method you have just seen is fine for locating larger surface cracks in normal light. But what if you need to find very fine surface flaws? For that, you need the magnetic particle wet method using fluorescent particles and an ultraviolet light. For larger area inspection, we will inspect a part with known defects. We will use a standard power supply. You may choose a P70 power pack. This is a magnetizing device designed for parts of different shapes and sizes. Step one is to contact the part being tested with the standard prod set. Note that the prod set has a trigger to a portable power pack, such as a P70. In a residual test, current can be removed and then fluorescent wet magnetic particle bath applied on the area to be inspected. Our fluorescent magnetic particles may be used either mixed with an oil vehicle, such as Carrier 2, or with properly conditioned water. The next step is to inspect the part under an ultraviolet light. Fluorescent inspection makes it easy to see the crack on the test part we are inspecting. Even fine cracks are detected with this method. The MagnaGlow fluorescent kit includes our ZB100F ultraviolet light and fluorescent materials in aerosol cans. Prod sets produce circular magnetic fields. In many cases, a longitudinal field may be required for proper inspection. In these cases, simply fashion a 3 to 5 turn cable, energize the cable, bathe the part, and inspect. When the inspection is done and you wish to demagnetize the part, you may use one of the following Magnaflux demagnetizers. The Magnaflux S66 is a continuous duty demag coil. It has an opening size of 6 inches by 6 inches and is available in voltages 115 volts and higher. Magnaflux also offers the S1212 continuous duty demag coil. It has an opening size of 12 inches by 12 inches and is available in 230 volts or higher. To verify if the part is demagnetized, you may use a field indicator to determine if any magnetism exists in the part. You will now see the Magnaflux liquid penetrant method, both fluorescent and non-fluorescent methods. Spot check is the trademark name for Magnaflux Visible Red Dye Penetrant. The spot check method uses colored dyes that penetrate surface cracks to facilitate detection. Spot check has many benefits. It is excellent for field inspections. It is available in liquid or aerosol form. Spot check shows up as vivid red in daylight and spot check meets all major specifications. Penetrant processing requires more steps than magnetic particle testing. Step one is a very important step. All paint, grease, oil, sand, dirt, and scale must be pre-cleaned from the part in order to open cracks and allow the dye to penetrate. Step two is to apply the penetrant. Penetrant is available in water washable or solvent removable form. The penetrant can be sprayed using aerosol form or brushed on the part using liquid form, whichever is more convenient for the area that needs to be covered. Allow the penetrant to dwell on parts for 10 minutes. Step three is to remove excess penetrant from the part by wiping it with a dry towel. Then, spray cleaner remover onto the towel, but not directly onto the part. Now, wipe the surface clean. Removing excess penetrant this way assures that you do not flush the penetrant from the crack. Step four is applying the developer. If applying developer from an aerosol can, be sure to shake the can to assure proper suspension. 
hold the can about 10 inches from the part and spray in small sections. Use just enough developer to wet the part and cover thinly and evenly. Step five is to inspect the part. Large cracks appear quickly as vivid red lines. Small cracks show up a few minutes later. If the crack is wide and deep, the red indication will be correspondingly large. Spot check materials are available in portable kits, which include everything you need to perform inspections. For more information, please go to our website. Zyglo is an extremely sensitive fluorescent penetrant inspection method that reveals cracks and other surface discontinuities in virtually any non-porous material. The steps for fluorescent penetrant inspection are the same as the instructions for spot check visible penetrant, except the inspection must take place in a dark environment and an ultraviolet light must be used. Cracks appear as bright green fluorescent indications. Zyglo materials are available in portable kits, which include everything you need to perform inspections. Please see our website for kit contents. Magnaflux manufactures some spectacular black light options for the non-destructive testing industry. The ZB100F black light is our fan-cooled portable black light system. This light produces long-wave ultraviolet light at 365 nanometers, providing optimum fluorescence in both MagnaGlow and Zyglo testing materials. The ZB150 FSB is our fan-cooled, self-ballasted portable black light system. This light does not require a transformer, thus making it our most portable unit for field use. The ZB240 Coolmax Fluorescent Light Fixture is the latest addition to our UV inspection product line. It is perfect for magnetic particle and fluorescent penetrant inspection, wash station inspection, and any application that requires a large inspection area. In many cases, it can replace the traditional 400 watt lights, which are expensive and produce excessive heat. You have now seen the various inspection methods used to locate cracks and other defects. For both magnetic particle testing and liquid penetrant inspection, Magnaflux has the products to serve your needs. Purchase them today and you'll experience the Magnaflux Global Advantage.